here to teach us how to be on our best behavior is author and etiquette expert Elaine Swan. Yeah. Hey. Elaine! <laughs> so the wedding season, this wedding season, is is it going to be really big? It's going to be huge. Oh, because <laughs> folks was locked down from yes. COVID. Yes. Yeah, so there was a, a study that came out on the Knot that said that six. 0.2 million people are okay. going to get married this year. Okay. Wow. Here's wow. the reason why, and, and I'll tell you why. The reason why is because, first of all, a whole bunch of folks got engaged last year, right? And they set their weddings for 2022. And then we had everybody that was locked down during COVID. Right. They didn't get to have their wedding, so now they're going to have the wedding. So this summer, we have over 65, 65% of people are going to get married this summer and this fall. So there's going to be a lot of oh, weddings. Oh, wow. Yes. That's a lot of weddings yeah. I got to attend. <laughs> That's a lot of bridesmaids' dresses I'm going to be wearing. A lot of bridesmaids' dresses. So now, because of COVID, what's the protocol now? For all right. Weddings? So COVID protocol. All right. One thing we have to think about is etiquette really is about putting others at ease. Okay. And so not everybody's going to want to be in a big crowd. So just be mindful of that. This may not be the time for the 200-person guest list. Mm -hmm. So be mindful of that. Number two, when you invite your guests, it might be a little bit annoying, but right now people still might want a little hand sanitizer okay. or maybe mask. And so put together a little gift basket for them. You can personalize the mask yes. and, and bling out the hand sanitizer to make them feel comfortable. And then the other thing is cocktail parties are really, really great. But think it about buffets. Maybe people don't want the reach in and the touching and the mm -hmm. coughing and breathing over the food right yeah. now. So what you can do is put the the the, uh, ap the appetizers and things like that in little okay. cups or individual ones so that this way people feel comfortable passing the food around. Yeah, I like the pictures that we yeah. have here. Oh, okay, so like this, little cups and Right, okay. so why not eat out of a cup like this? I would feel much better eating out of something like this than some than what somebody's been huffing and huffing and puffing. Uh, yeah, over at the... the okay, yeah. now Try here's from that. a couple questions from me. I keep getting these wedding invitations and people are like, you know, we want you to send to our GoFundMe, you know, or we raise, send it to this charity. And I'm like, I want to get a gravy bowl. That's what I want to get. Right. I want to send. <laughs> is, that, is that appropriate so to put? Here's the thing. When I heard this question and people were talking about this a lot, I thought I have one answer for everybody. Okay. No. Absolutely not. Okay. This is inappropriate. Listen, when you go to plan your wedding, figure out how much money you have in your budget. Yes. And invite just that amount of guests. Asking people for money for your wedding tells me that you probably are not ready yet. Oh. Yes. And so if you don't have a lot of money, have a small wedding. If you got a lot of money, then go ahead and spend it. But mm -hmm. GoFundMe for the wedding is a no. It's inappropriate. People don't want to have to pay for your stuff. Right. Now... I went through this at my wedding I because I had a big wedding. You could bring your plus one, a spouse, but if you hadn't talked to me more than 15 minutes about your significant other, they couldn't come. That's right. I exactly. Here's the thing. You have to leave it up to the bride and groom to determine whether or not you can br bring a plus one. It's okay. not a given, all right? And then think about this. When you're thinking about that plus one, you don't want to bring that person that you just met on Tinder, right? Oh, that's right. That's <laughs> your right. rent a date and bring them and have them up in the family photo that you have yeah. to look at from years to come, you know? That's true. Yeah, so not, plus one, ask first, find it out, right? Yeah. But don't just assume that it's okay for you to bring somebody. Okay, what about your five kids? Well, I see people bringing their kids. Are the kids Listen, invited? As far as, now, some people are going to say adult-only affair. And if so, don't be offended. Just leave, leave the baby at home. Yes. Get a babysitter. You know, have a night out. Get dressed up and enjoy mm -hmm. yourself. So kids are not always okay. <laughs> Those are the people that are like, I'm going to leave my child at home. <laughs> because when you're at a wedding and you at the you want to dance, and that, how many times have you been at a reception? You're like, oh, that's so cute, dance. You got to watch the kids all night. Right. You want to drink? Right. I want to meet somebody. You, yeah, anyway, you might want to back that thing up yes. at the wedding. Thank right. you, Lay. <laughs> and the baby's watching you do that. baby's <laughs> watching you. <laughs> all right, so let's talk about the gifts. Yes. Is it okay to give the bride and the groom something that's not on their registry? What should I get? This is the thing. Generational speaking, you know, grandma and granddaddy, they might have in mind what they want you to have, and you just gonna smile and say thank you. So Ooh. that's number one. But the best thing for you to do is select something from the registry, because then you know that the bride and groom want this. Okay. Now, people talk about giving money. I know that's a big subject as far as this is mm -hmm. concerned, but there is a study that came out that said 84% of people want 
money it's as due. a gift. Yes, and so you know that's the one thing that they're going to spend. Now, I'm not saying money as in pay for my stuff, pay for this, pay for that. Yeah. No, but give them money. So if, if, if they have a little thing and they're asking for it, right, okay. and you have to do that appropriately, not on the invitation, but maybe on the website, spread the information a little somewhere mm-hmm. else, but it is definitely acceptable. So no picture frame. They really want money. No, money. give them a picture frame. Okay. Yeah. You know why? Because we take so many pictures online and they just end up online, right? But why yeah. not give a really great picture frame? And if you snag a picture of the bride and groom and put it in that from, frame, then you really going to win. Then. Okay. I love it. Now, this one question. We didn't get to do it in Hot Topics, but there was somebody, they sent out the invite saying, you know, do you have any allergies? And they put, I got it. I'm allergic to this, this, shellfish. I don't like this. Like, it was a, a laundry list of stuff that they put on the RSVP card. Is that appropriate? Heck no. <laughs> no. No, you cannot do it. This was rude. I saw this. Yeah. That's absolutely rude. Listen, if you are paying for your own meal, right, right, at a restaurant or something, then of course you can say that. Now, to say that you, I have shellfish allergies, so if okay. I'm going to pass out and cause a a scene at the wedding. I'm going to let them know that. But other than that, just eat what the people put in front of you and be grateful. And just be grateful. Yes. All right. Elaine, I want to thank you for being here. Now, for more info, thank you. I like this. I like this etiquette stuff. For more info on Elaine and the Swan School of Protocol, go to wendyshow.com. We'll be right back. (laughs) 